Go on, Paul. Uh, can I ask, as an environmental engineer, what possible career prospects will I be looking in the near future? Well, um, it's an exciting time for you to be an environmental engineer uh, because you're going to study and solve problems of societal concern which affect our livability. So being an environmental engineer uh, would be, a, I would say, fulfilling uh, and a rewarding uh, profession. Let me explain to you why uh, I think it's going to be a rewarding profession for you. Uh, because our, just look at the status of our planet. It's far from being perfect. And the reason is that uh, the global human population has been decreasing and exponentially, and that the economy is booming, and we have an uh, unsustainable consumption of resources. So we have uh, an ethical, moral responsibility uh, to protect, restore, and then preserve the planet. So having said that, uh, you have plenty of job opportunities being available, probably more than what you think. In several fields, they will cut across uh, research institutes, uh, consulting firms, uh, statutory boards, uh, and industry. So it's a matter of picking what you want and what uh, drives you to have a career in environmental engineering. So typically, you could have a more like a research-oriented career, or you can have practice-oriented job, or you can have something like a design-centric kind of a profession. So there are plenty of opportunities being available uh, for you. And the curriculum that we have in place will uh, help you hone your skills uh, in terms of being able to solve problems and improving the critical thinking skills so that you can create uh, novel and cost-effective solutions to solve environmental problems. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, then, in case, what kind of jobs uh, would I be looking at specifically uh, that I'll be doing in the near future? Well, you could get jobs, more than one job, I would say, uh, in uh, consulting firms, in industry, in statutory boards, and research institutes. And the fields I could think of where you could make a difference to the world could be water, wastewater treatment, uh, water reclamation and reuse, membrane technology, air pollution control, waste management, circular economy, environment, health and safety, and clean energy. Uh, so there are a lot of fields that cut across uh, several disciplines. And being an environmental leader, you have you are in an advantageous position as compared to others coming from elsewhere in being able to solve such complex, multifaceted problems. So, in fact, uh, the curriculum we have is very innovative that will help you achieve your career goals. Oh, uh, then, Paul, uh, how would I be able to better prepare myself uh, for the workforce? Okay. Well, the, the curriculum that we have uh, allows you to do industrial attachment or internship. Uh, in a firm or any company of your choice. So that will give you an idea as to what it is like being a practicing engineer or working in a consulting firm or doing research or whatever. So that kind of experience will help you uh, improve whatever skills that you think you would need in order to be successful in your future career. So on top of that, we have what you call Center for Future Ready Graduates on the university level, CFT. And CFT helps our students in terms of being able to uh, prepare very effective resume and then managing job interviews and then demonstrating their skills to their future employers and finally convincing our employers as to what difference it could make to the company and to the world. And we have faculty members, staff, alumni, are all strongly committed to helping you uh, in fulfilling your career dreams. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Bob. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Good luck.